Welcome back to Learn Quick, the show where in each episode I try and learn a skill from scratch in as short a time as possible. This week it's actually warm in Scotland and it's dry, so I thought I'd try and learn one of the most difficult skills and that is learn to make fire. The only thing I'm equipped with is this knife which I borrowed from a friend and we're in this forest and I want to make fire by basically rubbing sticks together. This is day one, hour zero. Hey, it's Mike from the future here. I'm currently editing this video. This video is about fire, but forest fires are no joke. If you are inspired to learn this, then please be responsible. You really don't wanna go starting forest fires. They can get out of hand really quickly, destroy habitat, kill people, destroy property, it's bad. Check with park rangers or authority, follow their instructions. Please be responsible with this. Anyway, on with the video. So there's probably a million different techniques to learn this, but the one I'm gonna start with is the castaway technique. The one that Tom Hanks is using in the film Castaway. Fire! I think that's called the fire plow. That's kind of what inspired me to learn this. Um, so that's the one we're going to start with. So what I'm wanting is something that is dead, so it's not wet, but not rotten. I understand the basic concept of this. Rub sticks together, generate heat and dust, and that makes an ember, and then we pour the ember into some tinder or uh, kindling, I don't know what it's called. Blow it like that, and this is what bursts into flames, and then you can start putting smaller pieces of wood on top, um, and that's what gets your fire going. Let's try rubbing some sticks together. Holy, holy mackerel, that's tiring. I am beat, I've been rubbing sticks, I don't know for how long, but we did get some smoke, but not enough to start a fire. Oh, you see the sweat on me? So we'll come back tomorrow and see how we get on. I'm gonna try another technique. There's this YouTube channel called Primitive Technology and in each episode he creates a fire um, and he uses this this technique called the hand drill it's a, a block of wood with a spindle and he spins it like that and generates an ember so i'm going to try the hand drill technique and see if we have any more luck what happened do you think i'm going to survive <laughs> Only done one side. Okay. Wrong. On that side. Okay, this is what I'm going to make my board out of. Had an absolute nightmare chopping this off the tree, and I don't expect it to be any easier making the board. So I need to fashion this into like a flat plank of wood. Hopefully, we'll get something usable out of this. Oh, this is going to take forever. Yes. All right, look at that for a notch. Right, let's see if we can get some embers going. It's not even warm. There's something in the back of my mind telling me that this is only doable in Africa or Australia where the woods are different, they're harder, they're easier to make heat from. So we're gonna take my arms and my strength out of the equation and find out if this is possible at all.
That's the wobbliest thing I've ever seen. If this doesn't generate any heat, then it's just not possible with these woods at all. Look, black dust, smoke, it is possible. I was almost full speed on the drill and I was pushing down really, really, really hard. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm able to do this. But if I was stuck in the woods with just an electric drill, I might be able to do this. I'm generating such little heat with the hand drill, just enough to just char the edges here, but nowhere near enough to create lots of black dust. This is impossible. I have been doing some research. This is what I'm gonna try next. The bow drill. A little bit more complicated, but I think that I can get the pressure I need by pressing on here. Worth a try. Another thing I've been looking out for is the type of wood I want to use. Willow, aspen, cedar, sycamore, poplar, hazel. These are all good woods, apparently. I'm gonna look for those trees, so I need to brush up on what they actually look like. So this place is absolutely filled with hazel trees and look how perfectly straight that section there is. This should make a, a nice little bow. So that is our willow tree there. Out of all the silly things I've done on this channel, this is legitimately the most dangerous. I'm chopping through this dead tree branch that's hanging precariously and I haven't considered what's going to happen when I make it all the way through. This is dumb, don't do this. This is a bone dry piece of willow. I'm going to use my shoelace because you always have your shoelaces with you unless you've got velcro, but who wears velcro? See that? That's what that's for. It acts as like a handle for using this spindle. What are you laughing at? Hey, look, it actually goes round and round. Ow! Oh, look, it's black! Look, it's black! Are you serious? <laughs> Is it going? Yeah! Oh, you <laughs> that's f***ing boiling! What we're going to do is cut a notch in there and try and collect some of that hot dust that's coming off and that's what we're going to pour in the bird's nest and that's what's going to catch fire. Not really sure 
how long I should do this for. I don't know if that's going. I don't think that's hot enough. Right, that's gotta be enough. Damn it. Nothing. Ow! <laughs> That's gotta be it. Cool. Well, I have no idea what the f I'm doing. Come on, you bird. You little bird. Right, let's do it again. <laughs> Come on! Okay. I'm cover it. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> That's gotta be it! Look at that! <laughs> yes! I made a fire! <laughs> I made that with this! And this! <laughs> yes! Look at that! Let's try rubbing some sticks together. Do you think I'm going to survive? <laughs> it's not even warm. This is impossible. The bow drill. By the way, if you enjoy this kind of content, learning something new from scratch, then you should consider subscribing to this channel. I upload every week and I'm always learning something new, totally from scratch. This one's been a blast. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>